it. Whatever it takes. You just put out a fire with Violet School. Now you want to start another one? I thought the only way forward was together. I got an idea, but I need you to make it work. I made a promise to him, one that I don't think I can keep. There's something I need to tell you. General Hospital latest update. GH spoilers tease a potential rekindling of passion between Sunny and Alexis as they bond over the loss of Sam and Christina's emotional turmoil. Grief could drive them back into each other's arms, sparking an unexpected reunion that brings past emotions to the surface during this heartbreaking time. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, after watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital, Sunny and Alexis' grief-driven passion, exes hit the sheets over Sam loss and Christina's pain? General Hospital spoilers reveal that Sunny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard, almost made a huge sacrifice for Alexis Davis's, Nancy Lee Gron, and sake. After many years of avoiding justice, Sunny almost had to confess everything to save Alexis from a lengthy stint in Pennonville. Fortunately, new evidence cleared Alexis' name just in time. Sonny was able to keep his mouth shut and remain a free man, but Alexis was still grateful for what he was willing to do for her. After Alexis learned the charges against her would be dropped, she shared a sweet scene with Sonny in the October 14th episode. Sonny was glad Alexis would be sleeping in her own bed that night, so she acknowledged his almost confession in a moment of appreciation. Since General Hospital is playing up Alexis and Sonny's bond as exes, maybe they'll lean into that even more in the coming weeks. After all, another major crisis is on the horizon for Alexis, so she'll need someone to lean on. Once Sam McCall, Kelly Monaco, faces a grim fate, Alexis will no doubt try to stay strong for Molly Lansing Davis, Kristen Baganos, and Christina Corinthos Davis, Kate Monsey. At the same time, Alexis may crumble in private and need someone she can open up to. That someone could be Sonny since he cares about Sam too and certainly cares about the toll all this will take on Alexis. The same goes for Christina, who's bound to be an emotional wreck once she loses Sam on top of everything else. Of course, Sonny's heart will also break for Molly, Dante Falconeri, Dominic Zamprogna, Jason Morgan, Steve Burton, and everyone else who loved Sam. There'll be good reasons for Sonny to reconnect with Alexis in this intense time of grief, so could that lead to them letting passion erupt? Perhaps Sonny and Alexis could seek some mutual comfort in the bedroom down the road. Alexis and Sonny might surrender to temptation as they try to feel anything besides the sorrow that's looming. Once Sonny and Alexis get updates on Sam's demise, they'll want to band together and support Christina. However, Sonny will comfort Alexis over the news as well which could easily lead to some sizzling between the sheets. General Hospital spoilers say Alexis and Sunny's relationship could evolve in surprising ways, so we'll bring you more predictions on whether they might rekindle an old spark. Today's next update, Heather lands on Sasha's doorstep, newly released inmate apologizes for Brando's fate. General Hospital spoilers reveal that Heather Weber, Allie Mills, could be getting out of Pendenville in the very near future. Rick Lansing, Rick Hurst, told Curtis Ashford, Donnell Turner, that Heather would have her day in court and made a prediction about what would happen if her charges were reduced to manslaughter. In that case, Rick suggested that the judge could grant Heather's immediate release based on the time she'd already served. Now that Alexis Davis's, Nancy Lee Gron, own prison arc is over, there's really no reason to keep Heather locked up and drag out this storyline. General Hospital writers might as well get the ball rolling on the next phase of all this, which brings us to Rick's sneaky move on October 17th. Rick is poised to play dirty somehow, so that may involve putting a rush on Heather's hearing or even swaying the outcome somehow. It sounds like Rick's warning about Heather's immediate release may come true, so where will she go first once she's a free woman? We have good reasons to think Heather might head to the Quartermain mansion right off the bat. General Hospital's weekly preview video shows Sasha Gilmore Corbin, Sophia Matson, opening the door to someone from her past and demanding to know what they're doing there. Sasha's emotions quickly bubble up as she tries to process this shocking visitor. Heather would certainly fit the bill as someone from Sasha's past who'd be both shocking and draw out strong emotions. Sasha may assume Heather has escaped and become even more horrified once she gets updates on her official freedom. Of course, Heather was responsible for Brando Corbin's, 
Johnny whacked her, a demise, so she may feel like she needs to seek Sasha out and try to make amends in some small way. Heather might acknowledge that her remorse and apologies aren't enough, but she may still want to express how sorry she is. Although the cobalt poisoning messed with Heather's brain, she can't undo her actions now. Nothing can bring Sasha's husband back, so she may rip into Heather and rant about how she still belongs behind bars. Regardless, general hospital spoilers say Sasha will get some news that rocks her world, so that could involve Heather walking free. Today's next update, did Brennan retrieve the gun from the river, what's his ulterior motive? General hospital spoilers and rumors tease John Brennan, Charles Measure, may be behind the unexpected retrieval of the gun from the river but why? He has no interest in protecting Alexis Davis, Nancy Lee Gron, or her daughters, so he must have an ulterior motive if he and some secret associates retrieved the gun. General hospital spoilers, it would have made more sense for Valentine Cassidine to be behind it. A few weeks have passed since Alexis was taken into custody for the murder of John Cates, Adam J. Harrington. During this time, her daughters have been desperately working to secure her freedom, fully aware of her innocence. Sam McCall, Kelly Monaco, and police divers dived underwater for the gun Alexis discarded, believing that if the police examined it, they would discover it wasn't the weapon used in John's murder. It would have honestly made much more sense for Valentine Cassidine, James Patrick Stewart, to have slipped into town, retrieved the gun, delivered it, then slipped out again. A few weeks back Anna Devane, Fanola Hughes, accused Brennan of hiding Valentine and wanted him to bring Charlotte Cassidine, Scarlett Fernandez, back to see her mother he denied knowledge. General Hospital spoilers, Sonny Corinthos and Jason Morgan also wanted to find the gun. Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard, and Jason Morgan, Steve Burton, also wanted to find the gun, even though they knew the actual murder gun was gone Jason melted it and all its bullets. Sonny originally planned to keep his involvement in the murder a secret and sought out Carly Spencer, Laura Wright, to help him create an alibi. However, as the pressure mounted on Alexis, Sonny found himself on the verge of confessing in the General Hospital episode that aired on October 10. He even urged Carly to leave the country with Donna Corinthos, Scarlett Spears, to avoid facing charges for perjury, but she vehemently rejected the idea. The episode took an unexpected twist when Anna Fanola Hughes and the Port Charles Police Department received a package that contained the murder weapon. General Hospital spoilers, could Brennan have done this to impress Carly? Brennan might not be overly concerned with proving Alexis innocent, let alone Sonny, but he certainly holds Carly in high regard. It's no secret that he has feelings for her, and he would likely go to great lengths to help her out of a jam, just as he has in the past. He once helped her navigate a tricky situation with the FBI, and when the Spencer family was searching for Lucky Spencer, Jonathan Jackson, Carly asked his assistance, he readily provided it. It's important to note that Carly feels anxious about the idea of dating Brennan or being seen with him while she's still pretending to be with Sonny. With the recent discovery of the gun, Brennan might be hopeful that this could finally pave the way for them to date openly. General Hospital Spoilers could Brennan have done this in an effort to recruit Jason? It would be a missed opportunity not to consider that Brennan might have a deeper reason for locating the gun and handing it over, one that isn't connected to Carly at all. For some time, he has expressed a desire for Jason to join the WSB, but Jason has consistently declined. The question now is whether evidence of Brennan assisting Sonny and Carly, two of Jason's closest allies, in navigating their legal troubles could persuade Jason to reconsider. While we doubt Brennan will resort to blackmail, threatening to erase the evidence that could clear Alexis, it's logical he will emphasize his good deeds to prove himself a trustworthy ally. But will that strategy be effective or has protecting Valentine been his mission all along Alexis and her girls are his relatives, after all? Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.